It's not about metal, it's not about anything else. It's about what we can do as a company, as a community of people, is that we can impact our world. In our company, we've adopted the thought process that we will totally balance every decision we make between the financial success and the safety, well-being, and development of our people. The MEC history is really quite phenomenal. When you think about America, that we can achieve anything based on our, our God-given talents, our drive, our work ethic. I see MEC as uh, one of the American success stories. I remember the first day of the company. I was 12 years old. Me and my sisters with signs holding, good luck, Dad, you know. <laughs> my father was a little bit of a rebel. Uh, a little bit of a troublemaker in school and actually dropped out of high school, never finished. But he had an uncle that owned a scrapyard. Well, it turned out my dad really uh, thrived in the business. Uh, he was a natural. Uh, the company started November 4th, 1974. Started with uh, five people around the dining room table. They felt if they had a company that traded about two million pounds a month, they would have a nice little company, and here we are trading over two and a half billion pounds in a year. I don't know that my father would have ever dreamed that we were trading the kind of volumes we are and involved in as many different uh, aspects of the aluminum industry as we are. We're in the global non-ferrous metals business. We grew up as a trading company, but then we also added manufacturing to the equation. And so we do both manufacturing, processing, and trading of uh, the metals, and we do that globally. We have offices around the world, Singapore, Zurich, Shanghai. We have business relationships uh, in 30, 35 countries, and the major part of our business is in aluminum. When you look at our composition of our business, we have the global trading business, and then we have our manufacturing business, our cast products business, and our extrusion business. We go buy our product, you know, 10, 20 times a day, and we don't realize it, but we might be in an automobile, we might be in a truck body, we might be in a lighting fixture, we might be in a storefront. The neat thing is that we are maybe not creating those products that impact the quality of life every day, but we're, we're supplying this small component, this piece of metal that maybe leaves our plant that goes into all these aspects of what we, uh, what we use in society. I think our culture is widely known out in the industry. You know, we pride ourselves in taking care of our suppliers, taking care of our customers, and that gives us a competitive advantage. Obviously, results matter. But to be honest, you can't get to that point unless you are also investing in people as well. Ultimately, they're the ones that, that get it done. And without their support and them really being engaged and also being really bought into the vision and mission that we have as a company, the financial results don't come. We've all worked for those companies where you walk in the door and it just feels kind of stoic and cold. That's not at all how Metal Exchange feels. Whenever you walk through the door, you immediately get the sense of family and the culture and everybody caring about each other. And the core values just start to pour out at that point. Safety, integrity, respect, and drive. Who are we? What are our core values? And we have to be clear about what behaviors we expect from people. And so the core values are a way to be very clear about what we expect. Here at Metal Exchange, I've had the opportunity to meet a ton of people, and every single person that I've met is just top-notch talent. They embody and embrace all the core values that Metal Exchange has, and you just see it. You see it bleed out in the relationships with the customers. You see it bleed out in the relationships they have with their teams. It's not just about the business. It's not just about the metal. It's actually about the relationship that you have and the impact that you're making in people's lives. We have a lot of opportunities in front of us. Really, it's up to us, and it's really unlimited. We have to operate at that highest level of integrity, and I think our customers know when they're dealing with Metal Exchange, they're dealing with an A number one, high integrity company who does what they say they're gonna do every single time.